Scott's half-sister placed on Scotland Yard warning list over danger she poses to royals. Scotland Yard detectives have placed Meghan Markle's half-sister Samantha on a fixated persons list due to the risk she poses of egregiously embarrassing the royal family. The Duchess of Sussex's half-sibling has made a series of outspoken attacks on Meghan and Harry after she didn't receive an invitation to the royal wedding earlier this year. Meghan's protection officers are said to have briefed detectives at Scotland Yard over concerns regarding damage to the royal's reputation. Scotland Yard's Fixated Threat Assessment Center FTAC, works in conjunction with the NHS to evaluate the risks of lone individuals who harass public figures. A Scotland Yard source told the Sunday Times, someone like Samantha presents a risk rather than a threat. She is not committing criminal offences, but she is causing concerns for the royal family. There is big potential for some major embarrassment for the royals. Samantha could make a scene and create headlines with her actions, and let's face it she's kind of already done that. A source told the Sunday Times that Thack would have been informed by the Duchess about Samantha's pattern of unwanted and persistent behavior. Samantha wrote a Christmas card telling Meghan, Dad has been trying to contact you and is very hurt because you are avoiding him. She also took issue with the couple's official Christmas card, a black and white silhouette of the two facing fireworks with their back turned saying, interesting that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have their backs turned. Is this towards the world or just the Ragland and Markle family? It's a bit sad. Face the Christmas spirit. The Floridian even turned up unannounced at Kensington Palace gates in October to address the family feud, but was turned away by guards. Meanwhile, Father Thomas Markle implored his daughter to get in touch during an interview for ITV's Good Morning Britain. He said, I love my daughter very much and she has to know that. I would really appreciate if she would just call me, reach out to me somehow, send me a text, just say you're there and you're hearing me. A spokesperson for the Metropolitan Police said, We do not confirm the identity of any person who may or may not be of interest to police unless that person has been charged with an offense. Meanwhile, amid reports of heightened tension between Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle, a source close to the royal family has just revealed what the duchesses really did on Christmas Day. Prince Harry and Prince William's wives reportedly put their differences to one side and there was no sign of tension. An insider told the Sun the two even amicably teamed up during traditional quiz games. The source said, if German and British troops could put their differences to one side to play football during World War I, the feeling was Kate and Meghan could follow suit for Scrabble. After watching the Queen's speech, the board games were brought out and both women we got stuck in. Pregnant Meghan wasn't drinking but Kate had a glass of wine or two, and everyone was in great spirits. They were chuckling along together. You wouldn't know there was any tension between the two. It was a wonderful day and night. The Duchess of Sussex's half-sister Samantha Markle has been added to a fixated persons list by police over fears she could embarrass the royal family, it has been claimed. Meghan's half-sister has reportedly been placed on the list due to the reputational risk she poses to the royals. The Duchess's personal protection officers are said to have spoken to Scotland Yard's Fixated Threat Assessment Center FTAC, about the embarrassment Ms. Markle could cause. Ms. Markle 53, has spent months speaking out against her half-sister amid a very public family row after members of the Markle family were not invited to Meghan's royal wedding in May. Ms. Markle, who lives in Florida, sent Meghan a Christmas card in December urging her to contact her father Thomas Markle, who claims he has been ghosted by the Duchess since her Windsor wedding. The 53-year-old wrote, Life is short and you know Dad is wonderful. Please give him joy in his last years by showing you love him. The time is now. Please think about this. Days later Ms. Markle retracted her card, calling Meghan heartless. In October, Ms. Markle turned up at Kensington Palace in an attempt to meet her half-sister, weeks after branding Meghan the Dutch ass on Twitter. But she was forced to hand a letter to staff outside the royal residence after being turned away at the gates. During her trip to the UK, Ms. Markle also made a public appeal to Meghan to end the long-running family rift during an appearance on Jeremy Vine on 5.
and Dems Markle is said to be writing an explosive book about Meghan, called In the Shadows of the Duchess, which is set to be published next year. A hey Scotland Yard source told the Sunday Times, You can't protect someone like the Duchess of Sussex without knowing the background of her family. But someone like Samantha presents a risk rather than a threat. She is not committing criminal offences, but she is causing concerns for the royal family. There is big potential for some major embarrassment for the royals. Samantha could make a scene and create headlines with her actions, and let's face it she's kind of already done that. A spokesperson for the Metropolitan Police said, We do not confirm the identity of any person who may or may not be of interest to police unless that person has been charged with an offence.